Well, it's time to begin another vlog. It's the vlog for Tuesday, uh, November 3rd. It's 8 hours and 15 minutes into the day. Spend about 2 hours in gaming and meditation. Uh, I said I do enjoy it. We've moved up in both the meditation and in the uh, uh, gaming. Every once in a while, things have to be changed up. You have to sort of move the chains forward. Uh... To uh, improve or, or, or move the change for or move up another level, or even a sub level, would you just move, move, move further ahead uh, in order to keep in order to keep yourself at, at, at a half decent pace. And every time you move up, it's going to be a little more difficult. Uh, that, that's kind of a given. But you do want to keep challenging yourself. You do want to keep the struggle there. And this is the nature of the meditation here: is to maintain that degree of struggle. Uh, and that way, uh, you benefit from it. There, nothing, nothing ever comes easy. It, nothing is a given. Nothing is, uh, you know, given freely in ter in some sense. You, you, the best things you ever have are, the, are things you earn. Uh, and this is something to remember that 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 I know sometimes uh, there are tasks that uh, problems pop up. They're not pleasant to deal with, but uh, once you deal with them. Uh, you can move forward. You can you you you, and the thing is, you, your realization of what you've achieved only comes in hindsight. It's once you've achieved it. During the process, it's a little difficult to go, a little, a little d difficult to look back and say, oh, I've I'm, I've succeeded." And succeeded is not a, a, a totality. It's not an absolute. You don't succeed, and that's it. There's always more to do. There are always newer levels of things to do. You know, newer places, new places to explore. It just depends on your personality in terms of how far you want to get. And a large chunk of it is talking about, about anxiety. And anxiety is what what stops us from moving forward. There's a but the thing is there's a difference between in terms of our fear which produces the anxiety. There's a difference between something that is a realistic fear, like you don't set yourself on fire because you'll burn to death and the pain, even if you don't burn to death, the pain will be horrible. Uh, apparently some people haven't learned that. I've seen on uh, Instagram and even on TikTok uh, where a case where they see people, the stuntmen, light themselves on fire but they use an alcohol. An alcohol kind of burns off, and it's, it's, it's sort of a topical thing. But it depends on what you're burning. Uh, alcohol does actually burn uh, because of the heat. So let's say you put alcohol on a bit of fat, let's say a pork fat or something like that. What happens is as the uh, the alcohol burns, it heats up the fat to, to bring it to the point of combustion. So that the fat itself and, 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 and the meat uh, on the pork actually starts to burn. And when you put something like acetone on, this is the people uh, who have been trying this, have been trying this with uh, acetone, uh, the nail polish remover, that doesn't burn topically, that burns th thoroughly. And you watch people put, set themselves on fire Thinking that they only burn the surface in terms of the uh, the, the 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 substance like the alcohol, but instead they wind up find that, that they can't put the fire out because acetone burns differently, different materials, different substances burn differently depending on its chemical composition. Acetone can't be put out easily, so if you light yourself on fire with acetone, even with alcohol. Uh, all you have to do is ask Richard Pryor about that. Richard Pryor thought, oh, topical, alcohol. So he poured alcohol all over himself, and at one point in time, he was a little drunk, going to have some fun, he pours uh, alcohol all over himself, and sets himself on fire. Well, it didn't go up that easily. And he got badly burned, and he spent uh, months and years in home, and afterwards, you could see the damage that the, the fire that had, had done to his skin. You could, and you could imagine... The pain of the surgeries, the reconstructive surgeries, that he would have had to gone through in order to correct that problem. And so that's what I'm saying is there, there, there's a difference between 
real fears and fears that we create within our mind. <coughs> the fears that we create within our mind are a phobia. They're not necessarily real. And we, in terms of our anxiety, play these things up so that they're amplified that we see, oh, this is something that's really bad for me, I'm not going to go near it. When it's not necessarily the case. <clears throat> and even in cases like, like, like a motorcycle or a scooter, Yes, there's real danger there, but there's ways to approach it in a safe manner so that, that you, although ultimately there could be something that goes wrong seriously, uh, there are ways to approach things so that you minimize the risk. This is true in business, this is true in finance, this is true in, in almost any areas. Uh, if you want to do something successfully, you have to minimize the risk, and this means that there is going to be a period of education, there's going to be a period of learning, and in that period of learning, you're not going to be doing great things, You're because you're simply learning. This is your first your first experience of this. And the thing is, if you ha aren't learning at, let's say, this has, again has to do with anticipation, expectation. People, if, if things don't work out within an expected time frame, or an anticipated time frame, they say, oh, it's too difficult, I'm going on to something else. However, there may be good reasons for why the, 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 the learning curve or, 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 or what you're experiencing doesn't work out in your anticipated time. Maybe there's more things than you thought there was there. If that's the case, then the amount of time you need to learn, the, the amount of time you need to become accustomed to whatever you're doing is, is going to be increased. Anyways, let's see what happens today. I'm planning to do a scooter ride tonight uh, around 6 o'clock. It's going to be light night because it get, gets dark by then. Uh, and we'll see what happens. It's going, to, it's going to be another first for me. It's in colder weather. I need thicker gloves. I tested the gloves out. They seem to be okay so far. Uh, but, and so that's not while I'm scooting. While I'm sta stationary, I've tested it out. The question now, when I'm scooting, how are these gloves are going to work? And I need to be prepared if the gloves don't work. I know within the first, uh, uh, within the first read, I'll know this. Uh, to have the other gloves handy and just sort of switch them out. It is the end of a very long night on uh, November 4th. It is 7 hours and 55 minutes into the day of Wednesday, November 4th, uh, 2020. A disappointing night. To see the number of minions who exist in the world. And this is not necessarily a reflection on, of the... Uh, the Democrat minions in the United States, but uh, elsewhere as well, who somehow think that they will be spared when the wrath comes to bear, that they will not be affected. That they were good minions and behaved as they should. But this is not necessarily the case. And the, the, the term minions, the term idiots, the term morons, and, of course, Lionel LeBron will have something to say about that. So, well, you can't call them that. Well, unfortunately, the reference is not mine. The reference is Dostoevsky. If you sit down and do an author study on Dostoevsky, Fedor Dostoevsky, you will find 200 years ago, 200 years ago, he defined the left, the Democrats, the liberals, and the so-called social justice warriors, as they are. Idiots, possessed, minions, morons. Because morons, see, morons uh, is a relation, uh, is a, moron is a progressive term along with the term idiot. It is not, it was never a conservative word. Idiot was a, a, a progressive word. It was how they define the mental status of an individual. And the minions were let along that line is that these are the people who need to be taken care of by elites and they couldn't think for themselves. So what happens with the democratic process? The elites 
understood that their minions could not choose who they need to elect, so they chose Biden. So the minions dutifully elected Biden. Now the question, the thing is, I know people who didn't vote, didn't really care about the election, and noticed the amount of cheating going on by the Democrats. Noticed significant irregularities, let's call it that, by the Democrats. So when you see people who see these views, amongst others, tweeting and changing, we can't believe what's going on. We can't believe what's going on. Sure you can believe what's going on. This is history. This isn't new. This is what occurred when Hitler emerged. Society was going into a phase, uh, and this is particularly in the West, and I'm not Western, I am Asian, I'm, uh, I'm a pan-Asian person. My lifestyle, my beliefs, my religion is Eastern in its origins, in its uh, uh, sort of perspective. That's why I'm on the path. I'm not simply uh, a, a, a person who believes in the Christian religion. I'm on the path. The path is about um, an understanding, developing a relationship uh, within the what we call the family of Christ. Again, this is a very typical, a very traditional Asian understanding, uh, taking things from the perspective of the family. This is not a Western. The Western view is very logical, it's very uh, legal, it's legalistic, it's about the law, and following the law, and obeying the law, obeying God. In other words, you have a master, it's a master-servant relationship, just like we have with the Democrats. You have the master, you have the servants. The servants behave according to what the masters tell them to do. There is no individual thought, there is no individual will. Everything is socially oriented. But unfortunately, this path leads to self-destruction. And the thing is, it produced a, a full, well, almost 20 years from, 19, it began before 1930s, but didn't until into the 1950s. Uh, you had almost 20 years of genocide, 20, 20 years of eugenics, euthanizing people and using them as slaves in between, uh, because they didn't fit your description of what people should be. People think, oh, it's a battle between Christians and, uh, 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 you know, the Christian right and the, uh, uh, and the social left. That's not. The horrors that went on in, in World War I and World War II were not done in the name of Christ. They were done in the name of social engineering. They were a social justice experiment. But it failed. It didn't work. So they're trying to rewrite history. But this is what happens. Once you forget history, once you take the position that Lionel LeBron does, that uh, history would be a wonderful thing only if it was real, and he brought this up from Tolstoy, uh, you end up in this very dangerous situation. Well, if there's no history, if everything's a concept, because we're now living in a postmodern age, then nothing's real. The courts aren't real, the laws aren't real, the police aren't real, the taxes aren't real, the governments are not real. You can do whatever you want to do. Why? Because nothing's real. It's all a concept. This is the now fundamentally the West has fundamentally written itself out of existence. They don't they they're now sitting in a state of non existence. And they're just pushing it forward. And do you, you seriously think, if you're a Jewish person, you're watching this, do you seriously think that the Jews have have been left off the list of eugenics, the people who are undesirables? Because don't forget, George Soros, well, oh, he's a Jew. Well, no, he's not a Jew. Why? Because he doesn't believe. He is of Jewish descent, but he himself is not a Jew. There are others in his position, position who are not Jews. They, they are not Judea. They are Canaanites. Their gods are Canaanite gods. But they may be of Jewish descent. 
the Canaanite gods, the, the, the people of Jezebel, hid themselves amongst the Jewish people. They used the Jewish people as cover. And that's how they operate. They, they don't operate out front. They operate behind the scenes. And as you go into this, you look at what's going on, you'll see a lot of this. You see a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a, well, basically paganistic behaviors uh, underneath. But the thing is, if you're a minion, what are you going to do? What are you going to say? Because your, your ability to think and be independent has been taken away from you. This is not about being a republic. This is about being independent. Thinking for yourself. That's gone. Because the Republicans on the other side, they have their religion. They follow the particular laws. They're not thinking. It's about following the law. So what happens is you have this dichotomy called the Hegelian dialect, dialectic, where you have two groups of minions, two people who are following the law, battling each other out to see who is going to be victorious? And the belief by progressives is, out of the ashes of the conflict will rise the phoenix of progress. In other words, in order for there to be progress, you have to burn the old society ground. You have to have that conflict. It's the Hegelian dialectic. And this is what we're seeing. This is Antifa. This is Black Lives Matter. It is the burning down of the old and the building of the new. Unfortunately, a lot of cases uh, where we're going, or I should say where the West is going, is complete is to complete self-destruction.